Investigation into Michigan State University head football coach Mel Tucker continues tonight. He's accused of having non-consensual phone sex with rape survivor Brenda Tracy. Tracy filed a complaint with MSU's Title IX office last December, but Tucker wasn't suspended until a report was released by USA Today on Sunday sharing details the university claims they were unaware of. News 10's Maya Kuznicki is in the newsroom tonight to tell us what we can expect to see from this case moving forward. Amaya. David, today I spoke with an attorney with a focus in employment and education law, and she says allegations like the ones being made in this case can be career ending. So colleges and universities act very cautiously when they get these type of complaints. The complaint is being investigated under the university's relationship violence and sexual misconduct policy, which covers employee conduct. Brenda Tracy released a statement saying her identity was leaked without her consent. Tracy said she did not want to publish her story with USA Today last weekend, but she had no choice because someone outed her to the media. Attorney Christina Coral isn't involved in the case against Mel Tucker, but she says the investigation generally has privacy protections for both the accuser and the accused. These matters are kept fairly strictly confidential until that investigation report is completed. This goes on a lot more than people know. <laughs> you know, uh, being around colleges and universities, um, things like this just happen sometimes. They just do. Coral says she's not surprised that it has taken 10 months for the university to hold a hearing in the case against Mel Tucker. She says complicated cases like this involve a lot of information to unpack. This story is far from over, and WILX will continue to follow it, updating you both on air and online at WILX.com. Amaya, thank you. MSU Board of Trustee member Diane Byram releasing a personal statement this afternoon that says in part, I am disturbed and outraged by recent reports indicating the name of a claimant in a sexual harassment investigation was intentionally released in an apparent effort to retaliate against her. Byram also saying she wants the university to thoroughly investigate what she calls, quote, troubling allegations. Her full statement can be found on our website, WILX.com. A partly cloudy day at Hillbrook Park in Hazlitt today. And he's back after the break to tell us about some warmer weather on the way. Plus, Lansing is moving where the new city.